Genetics can play a role. It depends because there could be millions of genetic mutations that could influence your body in a number of different ways. Maybe you have a genetic mutation in your hypothalamus that makes you more hungry than the average person or that you would be if you didn't have it. Maybe there's something about your digestive tract. Maybe you don't have as many mechanical receptors in your stomach to let you know when you're full. Maybe there could be a number of driving factors when it comes to genes. But as far as overall genetics playing a role into obesity and insulin resistance, if you look at animals and nature, you don't see this in nature, especially with wild animals that live on a natural diet. You don't have many species that live in temperate climates that have 10% body fat or any more than that. They have very low body fat. They're eating at a caloric deficit. They're living meal to meal. They're a lot more active than people. So you really don't see insulin resistance and diabetes in anyone that's living on a natural diet or in animals that are living in a natural diet. You do see it in pets. You do see it in animals that are overfed and inactive, which leads me to believe that it's probably a very small percentage. I think that overall genes for obesity and insulin resistance is probably just a couple percent, maybe up to 5% or less than all the environmental factors that play a role.